Recently, I noticed a lot of you guys really like the review which I did on this uh, Yulanzi MT16 mini tripod. Now, Yulanzi is a brand that I've grown to love a lot as they produce very affordable and very functional items that is really helpful for all those who are using DSLRs or mirrorless that are out there. So today, we'll be covering another Yulanzi product which is this MT11 flexible tripod. Now, it'll be very similar as the one that Joby has which is this little Gorilla pod over here as it's able to wrap around different surfaces. So without further ado, let's unbox this and see what we get and how does this work. So out of the bag, you can see the way it wraps around each other, the legs, is really quite amazing as the Gorilla pot is not able to do that. So this thing amazingly comes in two parts, the ball head and the legs itself. So in any case which you want to use either of them, you can really detach this, which is really amazing. So as you can see, it comes in two parts, the legs and the ball head, which is a very underrated function because the one at the Joby cannot do that. I'm not sure about the 3K or the 5K designs, but this one, 1K, is unable to do that. And that's the frustrations and the reason why I was actually looking at this Yulanzi model in the first place. Okay, let's insert back the head. Now I need to emphasize that how much bigger this is, even comparing my hand. And once we compare it with the Joby which I have side by side, you can see a significant difference. Now it measures at 290mm or 11 inches in height and can hold up to 2kg in weight or 4.4 pounds. So now let's talk about the materials. The material on this uh, MT11 tripod is basically a TBR plastic which is basically a very high quality plastic and it really weighs quite light overall. If I carry it side by side, both of them really weighs the same but taking into account that this is a much larger mini tripod. Going into the material of the legs, one thing which I really did not like about the Joby Gorilla Pod is that the legs can come off very easily. Now comparing with this MT11 tripod, there's probably no way as this is literally a one-piece setup. And if you can see the, how the legs are being twisted just like that, it really shows how flexible the material really is. You probably can't do that with your, your Joby Gorilla Pod. It will definitely work much better on this design rather than the one that's on the Joby as probably there are gaps in between this little ball design. Now one thing similar is that they both have this rubber material which grips onto items really well. The Joby has around these little white surfaces which now probably turned a bit yellowish over here but it's still missing over all the areas of uh, the round ball plastics. Whereas the legs, the whole part of the tripod legs is covered in this rubber material which additionally gives much more better grip than just uh, small surfaces on this Joby Gorilla pot. Alright, let's take a break and see how well they wrap around everyday objects. Here is an example of how the M11 looks mounted on a small bar. And here is one on how the Joby looks. And here is an example of how the M11 looks mounted on a larger bar or an object. And here is the Joby one. When we put them side by side, you can see that there's lesser gaps on the M11 compared with the Joby. The full rubber material of the legs is helpful if you need full contact of it on the object that is mounted to. Okay, so now let's talk a little bit more about the ball head design of this MT11 mini tripod. Okay, if, if you can see up close, this has a one setup design which basically means that you cannot take it out and separate it from the plate itself. Now, I really like this design as you are able to screw in your cameras. Another interesting design is that if you can see up close, there's actually a bubble level over here which can help you to center any other setups which you have once you place it on top. And one thing if you do not notice, there's actually hidden a phone mount. So all you have to do is just pull this out and let it go and here you go, you have a phone mount. And on top of here, you have this cold shoe mount that's able to put light or other audio accessories that you have. And this being a quarter inch screw mount, you can literally put anything on top of it such as a slider or any other ball head which really makes this very flexible not just a whole one piece design such as the one that's on the Joby Gorilla Pod. But wait, there's actually more hidden functions on the mini tripod. If you can look up close of the legs, you can see that there's this quarter inch screw adapter over here which is really amazing because you can mount up lights. Now let's put this in and be able to have a camera mounted and see how well it looks on how what other setups it can mount up to. Let's open up the legs and let it sit flat. So here I have my A7 II with the 16 to 35 mm Kazaz lens and this whole setup weighs about 1.1 kg which is quite heavy for a vlogging setup. So as you can see, it's really convenient to just be able to turn it in. Not like the plate design of the Joby which you need to remove it and just attach it and it only conforms to this mount that it has. So 
So there you go. It sits really well and the material is really good. Now let's mount up the lights, which I have over here is the ALM9 Little Mini Light. So now one thing I do have to mention is that you need to get this accessory, which helps you to extend out the quarter inch screw mount here to mount up any other things that which you have. And once you screw in the light, here you go. You have a very interesting vlogging setup, which you can use just like the Gorilla Pod for vlogging once you extend the legs out and you can hold it this way. <laughs> Sorry, I had to change out the batteries. One of the downsides of having an A6400 is that the poor battery life. And that's the reason why I'm eyeing actually at the A7C in the near future. So with what I mentioned, you have, once you have this whole thing set up about 1.1 kg and with the light, it's probably maybe about 1.2. You can hold it really well and use it for vloggings. Overall, this can still hold up to 3kg but I won't recommend it as you probably feel very weighty and very lopsided once you have a big lens such as this 16 to 35 mm So now let's talk about price. How much is this MT11 uh, flexible tripod over here? Now on Amazon, it costs about 22 USD which is rather affordable and really cheap which is really good price comparing with this Joby Gorilla Pod which I have. This is the 1K version and costs about 28 USD. Of course, there is the 3K and the 5K video option which costs a lot more and it even has a fluid head. But for $22, I would say it's probably one of the best things which you can spend on in terms of mini tripods out there. If you guys have other suggestions on mini tripods within this price range which you think I should look at, do leave me down in the comments below. Now, I hope you guys like this video which I made for this and other U Atlanti products. If you guys do, give me a thumbs up and subscribe down below and hit the bell notification over here so they'll be updated on my latest upload. So I hope this video has given you value and perhaps options to look at if you're looking at mini tripods such as this MT11 or even this MT16 one which I recently did. If you like more of these little reviews, I actually come out with a playlist over here. So do check them out during your free time. If not, I'll see you guys in the next video.